Welcome to Andy Mann's show, a do-it-yourself program that gives you some ideas and quick tips to help you around the home. I hope you'll stay with us because we'll have some very handy tips for you over the next few weeks. So the client has asked me to lengthen the legs so that this stool becomes the perfect bar sort of kitchen stool that you can sit at. Now I'm going to do this in a special way without using any glue nails so that there's not a big job involved here at all. All you need is some good timber to match the stool, a saw and some G-clamps. Let's have a look at what we're going to do. We've got a piece of 50mm by 50mm planed all round timber here that's 2 inch by 2 inch timber and we're going to cut it to the length that we want the stool to be increased by. So, we know that we want to add another 6 inches to the leg. We know that we want to add another 6 inches, uh, that is 150 mil, to increase the stool. We take our tape measure and measure 6 inches on the new piece of wood. Now we need to take into account the extra piece of timber, how it's going to be actually fitted on. So, we measure this piece here up and to the bar there and then add the six inches onto that. So it's six inches plus another five inches. Now that's a total of eleven inches altogether. So I'm now going to mark the planed all round timber eleven inches and cut four pieces exactly at eleven inches. Now that is actually um, let's have a quick look. Six We'll say 300 millimetres, which is one foot, 12 inches. That's what I'm going to cut them at. So using your square, mark very carefully and very accurately your four pieces of wood at 12 inches. Tip. Mark the first piece at 12 inches, that's 300 millimetres, and then cut it. You can then use that as a template for the other three legs. I've got my piece of plain all round timber here and I'm going to use the actual chair that we're going to add the legs to as a sort of resting bench and I'm going to saw through it now. So I've got my what you might say template which is 300 mil in length plain all round timber that's 12 inches in imperial and I'm going to place it on top of the next piece of wood and then I'm going to mark it and I can go ahead and mark up the other three legs just the same. So I'm now going to cut the other three legs exactly the same as the first leg and then I'll end up with four legs. And finally the final leg. So I've got my four legs all cut to the same size, 300 mil or 12 inches imperial. Now we need four G clamps. I'll just get those off here. four G clamps. So we've got four G clamps. Various sizes, it doesn't really matter if you've got them all the same then that's really great but if you haven't it doesn't really matter. Now comes the satisfying bit, the completion of the project. Taking one of the legs that we've cut we attach it to the side of the main post. Taking the G-clamp, very carefully adjusting the G-clamp to the size of the two pieces of timber. So now you can see I've attached the new leg to the existing leg and G-clamped it to make a firm fit. So I'm going to attach 
the remaining G clamps to the other legs that we just cut and do the same process again. Oh, top tip. When you've got your G clamps, put a little bit of oil on there and see how easy, a bit of Vaseline even, see how easy they go down, especially if they've been left in the damp. Uh, they get a little bit rusty. So I'm just attaching the next leg now to the chair. So I'm just attaching the next G-clamp to the, and I think we'll go that way this time, although we can't because that G-clamp is a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter because these are quite useful to leave out because you can hang uh, cloths on them, towels, in the kitchen. So really it's all quite beneficial. And of course always make sure that you tighten your G-clamps as tight as you can. Final leg going on now. Well, actually we'll put it that side like that and then that can go on the inside and you just need to open the G-clamp a little bit more. So just tightening the final G-clamp now as tight as it'll go and just going round checking them all as tight as they are and they'll never move. Well there we have it, completed job. No glue, no nails, no screws, no hammers. Just now to upturn it and test it out before putting it in the kitchen. Obviously you'll need a stock of G-clamps should you want to be doing other jobs and you've got these four in sort of permanent use. Right here we are. Now you can see it. Absolutely first class. It's never going to move because these bars here, which are existing on the chair. So there it is, a bar stool. Kitchen worktop height. You can use these to hang things on. And they sort of, well, it becomes a talking point. And very safe to sit on. So join me next time, Andy Mann, in Home Hints for your home. So there you have it. I'm actually sitting on it. No movement whatsoever. And they're quite useful actually to put your feet on as another sort of balancing job. I'm on a bar stool. Took me about 10 minutes to make it. What could be easier? Join me next week with some more top tips. Joinery tips, tips that'll, well, help you around the home. This is Andy Mann. See you next time on Handy Hints.